Want to know how I create every single video inside of my highly successful online courses and programs? I'll give you a hint. It's free. Most of us use it and have it installed on our computers. And I don't have to edit a thing afterwards. Hey, I'm Gemma Bonham Carter. I teach entrepreneurs how to create, launch, sell and scale online courses and turn their expertise into highly profitable businesses. All right, the suspense is over. Here's what I use, Zoom. Now Zoom is often used as a video conferencing tool. Heck, it's what my kids have been using for virtual school during the COVID pandemic, but it totally does double duty as a video recording tool as well. It allows me to record my videos, plus for my courses, I love that I can record my slides and my little bobblehead in the corner all together in one frame and not have to do any editing afterwards. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you through a tech tutorial and show you exactly how I do that using Zoom. If you wanna sign up for a free Zoom account, I've included the link below this video so that you can sign up and get started. In this video, let me show you how I use Zoom to actually record my course content videos. So right now I have open a PowerPoint presentation. I happen to use PowerPoint, but you can use Keynote or Google Slides or a Canva presentation for your slides. I just come on over here to Slideshow. Uh, I have to click on Setup Slideshow and make sure I have selected Browsed by an individual at a window so it doesn't always go full screen on me. Then I can just click Play from the start and that way it's open and ready for me to dive into in my video. So then I come on over to my Zoom and I just start a meeting. Hey, <laughs> I'll make this smaller. So I'm just gonna join my Zoom meeting here. And as always, you can just make sure it's on like the right mic um, and all of that kind of thing. And then I'm just gonna click on share screen and I'm gonna share my PowerPoint screen here. And automatically it pops me into a little corner. And my you can, what you can see here is like, see how it's green around my presentation? So that tells me that like this is the screen that's recording. So then when I come on down here, this if you like hover over the green and red bar, this all pops up. When you click on more, and then record on this computer. Don't record to the cloud because that'll record to your Zoom account. You just record to this computer. Then I would start my my you know video presentation. La di da di da. T say what I want to say. I can use my um, I come on over here and just like flip through my my um, slides and talk through them. Whatever it is I'm needing to talk through. And then when I'm done. I just bring my mouse over here. I can click stop recording um, right here, stop recording. Then I can click stop share or I can just end my meeting straight from here. And when I end my meeting, basically what happens is it starts to convert the meeting recording. Now this may take a long time if your meet like if your presentation was long. Ours is short because it was just a few seconds there. And you can see what happens when Zoom does this for you. You automatically get an audio only recording, which is really nice if you want to embed like the audio track as an option for students. If they don't really need to see the slides or see you talking, you can just have it as an audio. And then see this Zoom underscore zero. What happens is when we double click on it, it opens up and this is our recording and see there you go there I am in the corner with my slides and using a lot of hands gestures as I usually do um, but you've got yourself an amazing video there with your little face in the corner and going through your slides which I love and the like you know the resolution is good the sound is good if you've got a good microphone all of that kind of thing so you can see there like i was looking down to find the right button to stop recording so what i always do is i use quicktime which is just comes on my mac computer but you can use any sort of video editing software and this is really simple i just come and i trim i just trim out like the very you know whatever it is 
Um, usually I'm looking at my face and try and end with like a smiley face uh, on myself. And then I just click trip, trim and then file. And I would save that video as, you know, an, whatever I wanted to save it as. Uh, click save and it would be, my video file would be done. So that's literally how I record all of my video content with my face in the corner. And here's the thing, I think it's nice to have your face in the corner because I find it personalizes the course experience for people and really it kind of builds that connection between you and your students. So I really encourage you to do it this way um, if you feel comfortable having yourself on camera. So that's it, how to record your video content using Zoom. So cool, right? All right, now that you know how to record your course videos, if you wanna learn more about how to launch a really sellable, highly profitable online course, I have a free class that is gonna show you exactly how to do that. We're gonna talk about how you can take your expertise and turn it into a highly sellable course that you can sell over and over and over again that you've only created once. We're gonna talk about how to turn that course into a no-brainer offer that your audience will be super excited to buy. And I'm just gonna walk you through exactly how I turned my business from zero dollars a year in revenue to over 500k in revenue per year with digital courses that's all in the free class you can sign up in the link below the video i'll see you in the next one